So I just got myself a Fit Camex. It's a dash camera. It's a hidden camera. It's basically made to be a plug and play on your original equipment so you do not have to run any wiring. So you take off the old cover and basically put this OEM looking cover back on and it has the camera installed inside of it and the wiring just basically plugs back into the original harness so what I'm doing it on is a 13 uh, Dodge Ram 3500 and it has this mirror the auto dim mirror option so this is the mirror the factory so I'm gonna take this cover off and the new Camex comes with a new cover and it's gonna have a little opening for the camera so it's basically a hidden camera OEM look it's pretty much the best camera I found that you can't even tell you have it because the other ones are just they stick out they're too big not comfortable you can't leave them on the windshield or somebody's gonna break in and steal them so this is the one that nobody knows basically you have it in all right, so I'm going to open the box now. So this is going to be the cover behind the mirror. This is your original uh, high beam auto shut off feature. So it stays. And this is going to be the camera. So basically it pops back on in place. And there's the buttons. So this is the wiring that comes with. Some tools, and a USB card reader. So this is what comes within the box. So again, the model you have it might have different cover, obviously different wire harness, so it might have different looking equipment. But for this RAM, this is the one that's basically factory replacement. as well all right so I'm gonna do my best to record out to take it off so using a little plastic tool This is the cover. And here's the comparison to the original one. Let's see the difference. So this fit Chemex. This is the factory one. All right, so now we're gonna install the wire harness. So we have the cover off, now we're going to remove this plug and you remove the plug by pressing on this tab right here and pulling it out so you'll see right now. I'm just using a little flathead, okay, just pop that out. So now plug this one in, okay, make sure it clips in. Then the other end, you pop it in right here. 
All right, so the best way to install this camera was we're gonna tuck in these wires inside the hole, and I'll show you just in a second. So we pulled the original plug off this little clip holder, that one is sitting on the bottom. We pulled that one off. We're gonna tuck it in. There's a hole right there, kind of in the center. So we're gonna tuck in that original plug and this plug as well in there. Try not to force anything, just kind of wiggle it around, it will eventually go in there. And it will give you more room in this case to clip it in. Doing my best to record this, it's just kind of tough. Then the new plug has a little clip to slide in, in place of the old plug. See it clipped in right there on the bottom. So make sure you do that, that way the wires are not all over the place and you struggling trying to get them in there. So try to get as much wires into the center. Okay, once the wires are out of the way, you're gonna be able to clip it in. So I'm on the driver's side just in case. If you have too much wires loose, they're just going to be constantly in the way and you're not going to be able to get the cover back on the holder. Alright, so i got to seat it in place. Now we're putting the little cover. Make sure you have it clipped in on both sides. Alright, so here it is. Got it installed. And there you go. And you have the buttons accessible on the driver's side. Get a clear shot. And there you go. This is the old cover.